I think the thing about her, uh, Nancy Pelosi, is she's super strategic. Mm -hmm. We know she's very wise. She's very good at politics. She didn't just say cover up as like an offhand remark. This was with deliberate intention because she's under the pressure from yeah. her grassroots. She was forced to say that. She, well, yeah, it's also it's very it gets under his skin, right? Mm -hmm. She loves to get him riled up so that then she can say, "Oh my gosh, you would not have believed the reaction." It was just overwhelming, and I have to pray for him. And but her caucus wants infrastructure and impeachment. She they can't want give them both. That's, that is true. Uh, what I also like about this idea is I'm just picturing it there in the cabinet room, <laughs> the president walking in, not sitting down, right? Like, yeah, this stuff's over. Yeah, like we're we're not doing this. And if you think back to when his supporters would say in the primary elections when he was beating all the Republicans, what do you like about him? And they would say, well, he tells it like it is. This is a sh it was a charade to think, one, that infrastructure was going to get done anyway. Mm -hmm. They're so far apart. A 35-page plan doesn't work for anybody. Nobody no. needs a 35-page plan. He needs a one-page plan to see if they could do it. So that was a charade. It wasn't going to happen. The president's basically like, let's just stop pretending that you just that you are here to help get me impeached, but to pretend like you are actually wanting to work on things. And he said, I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah, why would you negotiate, Greg, when someone has a knife to your throat? This was a great example of when politics clashes with business. All right. It, what 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 Nancy and Chuck did was planned and it was political. Mm -hmm. And I would be pissed off, too. It'd be like Dana coming before the five and just announcing that she burned my house down. Now, let's go do the <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. And so it's, it's a different it, when you're in business, no one before a meeting would accuse you of being a criminal. Right. Right. But in politics, there is no such limitations. They'll call you a criminal, a war criminal, and then they'll have lunch with you. And, and, and then when they said, well, clearly he doesn't want infrastructure. How stupid do you think the American public is? He was pissed off because of what you did. It had, he wants infrastructure. He's been doing infrastructure his entire life. I do love the fact that he brought visuals. That means you know, he's, he's incorporating Fox graphics into <laughs> his display. And Trump's, Trump, Trump's poll numbers might be down. But when you ask Americans what kind of job he's doing and yep. if they are better off, they're way high. How stupid do you have to be to, to, see, to see how this plays out? Impeachment fails, Trump is a folk hero. Impe impeachment succeeds, he's a folk hero. And you have Pence as president, and you have Trump going around. He's not going anywhere. You're going to have two Republican presidents, and everybody who pushes the hysteria will be a laughing stock because they're not going to real. They're not going to go and elect Bernie Sanders after this. No. You're going to have 70. Five million people who are pissed off and they're going to reelect Pence. It's good. You. The point is, no. The pendulum swings. The more you jump over, the more you push, the more they push back, and that's what you're going to see with Brexit. That's what you're seeing right now with Farage. People are going after him, and it's just going to create more fans. Juan, what do you think?